Hello everyone, I'm back again obviously. We're going to be doing the start of this awesome tree farm that we talked about last time. So I'm going to get rid of this stuff first. Okay, so this is how you do it. Let's start off by just counting, we'll just pick a sort of random spot right here. So you put a block, alright, then you give it one, two, two spaces of growth room, whatever you what to call it, that's what it is though. If you put it any closer, the trees will grow together and become monsters, and you do not want them to do that. Because that defeats the whole purpose of what we're doing. So you just go like this, space it to each, like I mentioned, all the way until you feel like it's big enough for you to handle. And I, I usually like to make them absolutely bloody massive, but for now, I'm just going to make it relatively good. I mean, it'll be really good, but it's just going to be a, a medium size sort of. So, yes, so, once you've done that, what you do next is you plant a sapling on top of this. And the, the, the purpose of these was to mark the spots. So, obviously, you could do, like, put some sort of slab around it or something so that it doesn't have to be so high up there. It's up to you. In fact, that's probably, probably a better idea, but... I'm just going to show you guys. In fact, stop, stop, stop. What am I doing? These things are all going to grow into monsters. I've got to show you guys with one sapling how to do it. So let's go look at our, an ideal tree, which I believe is something like this. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six tall. All right. So what you do... So you go on something like this, and you go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you place a glass block there, and break your legs, of course. Oh, my bloody hurt my legs again. And then you place the sapling, and let it grow. But I'm not going to let it grow like that, because I need to show you guys what I'm talking about. I need the bone meal. I don't know where, where my, my crafting, crafting, crafting? Okay, it's over here. So what we do is we go down to, I believe it's down here somewhere, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh-oh, I can't hold it. I s oh, what the? That was weird. Okay. Let's test with this tree. You ready? Boom. That did nothing. Did it even use one of my... It did use one. It stole from me. What about this? That doesn't make any sense. See, it's 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 not supposed to do that. The other one is supposed to grow. I don't know why it didn't. Maybe it just had the chance. <sighs> Whatever. Well, that's just great, isn't it? Ruined the purpose of my video. How could this be this way? Alright, so let me show you. We'll place that up there. Ow, my legs. <laughs> We're gonna die. Alright, I'm going to cut this wood down, because that does not make any sense. What is it doing? And maybe I was supposed to give it three spaces of wiggle room, but I really thought it was two. I really thought it was two. I don't know. We're going to test it on a different block, because I don't want to wait for that to finish its business. So, what we'll do, we'll just pillar this over. From right there. One right there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There we go. It's going good. Now this is directly above it, I believe. So what in the world? <laughs> I'm like a kangaroo. All right. Oh my. That would happen to me. We get rid of this dirt, and we plant a sapling, of course, and we use bone meal. And it does nothing. Now let's see what happens when we break this. Actually, let's, let's mark it first, just in case. Well, that didn't change anything, so something is wrong with... Maybe it's the chances of growing a tree. I, I, I thought it was 100%. Well, that wasted half my stuff. Let's get rid of both of those and see now. Something has changed, you guys. I can't even... Oh, look at that. It's almost like it depends on how tall it really wants to grow. Maybe I just can't force it with this glass method. Let's test, okay? We're going to have to test it, but it's going to have to be on its own. So we won't be able to do it 
really quickly, but while it tests, we will just work on the house. How about that? That's a good idea. So what I'll do is we'll select a couple of random blocks, sort of like this, and we will simply put glass above, yet we're going to let it grow. Okay, so cheese in Spanish, I got it first. Um, like this. Is this, is this another block? Yes, it is, but we're not going to do that block. Like this. Perfect. This is where the glass is going to go, but it's going to go up, up, up one more block, and then it's going to be this block. This is going to be the glass block. So we're going to put it like that. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this little tree down. Oh, yeah, we're going down, boy. Alright. I'm going to cut the other tree down, just so we can see... And then we'll put the saplings up and let it test. Alright. I want to see if they'll grow on their own naturally under the glass block. They should be. They definitely should. But I don't know. The problem is if you have so many trees close together, they can cause problems, if you know what I'm saying. And that, that, that uh, dirt block might cause an issue, I don't know. There we go. Alright. Let's head out of here and go back to the house. Oh, I was talking about the glass though. If you use glass, you can do the whole, you can cover the whole, like, layer. But that's a whole block of glass for every spot, and that can be relatively expensive. So, I was thinking I would just try to put one above each tree. But maybe it's not going to work like that. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's just sleep. Take it easy, relax, you know, unwind a bit, and that is so nice looking wheat. Look at that. That is good looking. Alright, I want that wheat. We need to sleep, and I need to eat a piece of bread too. I'll go to bed first, because I don't really like the dark as much. There we go. Come on, sleep, sleep, sleep. It's so secure. I'm never going to be attacked in here. That's madness. Alright, now, these trees, we'll just keep peeking and looking at them and seeing if anything grows. The spider, but I don't touch them. Alright. Let's get these stairs equipped and go keep working on that part. Because the house is really quite close. No! Why? Does it have to happen right there? Okay. Whew! Let's go. Over here. I wonder if that block... Oh, no, it's a creeper. It's a creeper. At my house, he probably ate that other block I had down there. But that's okay, because I was going to kill him anyway. So it's fine. But, you know, it's not like I really have to hunt creepers anymore. To get, like, gunpowder. Because that mob spawn I made... It completely makes it for me, you know? I have a video on it, too. You guys can go watch that, but... Don't have to, obviously, but it's really quite helpful. I love the video. No, what is this? Alright, I just wanted to test and see what would happen, but clearly the test did not go well. In fact, I think it I think it went upside down when I did that. I'm not sure. And I just realized I could probably put these slabs up there to get them out of the way. And I got some more wood, didn't I? Yeah, I can just craft some more stairs. But I really want to get rid of these. So, I'm going to go to the top. And just place them on on this section here. Um, But first, actually, I could take some cobble. We don't have any cobble. That's nice. I'm just going to build across this. Like this. Just to make sure... We're able to get across there quite smoothly. So we'll just go across the whole top. Just like this. Oh no, I messed up. It's going to look so nice at the end. Oh no, I forgot back in the day you have to use a pickaxe on two wooden slabs, which makes absolutely zero sense, but that's the way it is. I don't know who made it that way, but they might have had a little bit of a hard day because that does not make any sense. Whatsoever. 
Alright. 31 logs. That should be plenty. Did I leave that crafting bench on my roof? I did. Amazing. Let's craft a bunch of this. Oh yes, yeah, so we're going to have enough to make... Finish this up, aren't we? Oh yes. We'll just start with this much. And then if I end up needing more, I can get more. It's right there. Got all the wood. And we'll check on the trees too, because I think that one of them should have grown at least by now, if they're going to grow ever. So, no! Why does this happen to me all the time? It's like, now I have to go down there and clean it up after. Which is so lame. This part is so tedious when you're, when you're using split touch, but split touch overall, I think, are better. But, I don't know. Depends on what you're doing. And a lot of people have actually requested I use split touch because it's easier to watch me play the game, I guess, because it's like centered rather than me just like tapping whatever on the screen. I don't, I don't know. I think that's the reason. But. Okay. That was weird. Let me see. My axe. Alright, so after we do this part, the hardest part is gonna be. No, really? This is going to be the hardest thing after this. I'm still not sure about how I really want to do it. But it needs to be done, that's for sure. It's going to look, my house will look ugly without it. So it's not much of a, much of a uh, option for me. It's pretty much mandatory. Unless I want my house to look freaking stupid. But obviously I don't. I built it to be awesome. That's the way it's going to be. Now this part right here specifically will be very easy. Well, apparently not, right after I say that, it's like, can't even place one. Worthless, I'm worthless. Alright, let's go get some more. Clearly we didn't have enough, like I was hoping. And, because we still have to do the outside, so that's what I was talking about. The hardest part. Oh no, really? I imagine it will be the hardest part, because of the positioning of where these need to be. But, perhaps it won't be, I don't know. We will find out in just a moment, because this is about done. Holy amazing. Look at this. This whole thing is, like, pretty much done. That's bloody awesome. It's my house. Finally, it's, like, done enough for me to live in. Now, this is the part I was talking about. You have to get off on the edge. This part right there, that was easy. That was really easy. And now that that's done... We have to figure out how to do all these stair pieces. In fact, I just remembered how I used to do it, I think. I think what I did was something like... Something like this. There we go. Alright, and then I go up the side. And I know the bottom one was missed, I understand. I'll get that one later. Just not yet. Because i got to finish the whole thing up to the top first. And then, once that's done, yeah, the house is done as far as the structure goes on the outside. The design itself, from the inside, is obviously not... It's going to be kind of weird looking, actually. But, not to worry. Oh, there's a creeper right here. Come on, right there. Oh, that was perfect, right on the pixel. That takes bloody skill. Alright, I think we're going to need some more stairs anyway. Don't think I have enough of them. I don't feel like I do anyway. Whoop, I almost just killed myself again. Right there. Yeah, there we go. Alright, same thing. And then we have to do the other side of it too, obviously. But still, it's not that bad. Let's look at the trees. No way. They're still not growing. No! Okay, that hurt really bad. I need bread, I need food, I need to eat my meal. Oh my goodness, Creeper, you are a fool. And a tree. Alright, this is awesome. we got a nice setup here. Well, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, which I know you did, because it's awesome. And I am going to finish this next time, so make sure you watch the next episode. Because the house is going to be completely done on the outside once this episode is over. So, this next episode, not this one. But I obviously have some small cleanup to do in here. So I don't even have a shovel anymore. But anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow in the next episode to be sure. So be sure to uh, head to my channel.